So, someone sent you a doc file, or a docx file, and you look at it, and then you think, by god. By god, proprietary software has taken over, and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm going to have to get Microsoft Word. No, you don't. So, I'm going to talk to you about um, anti-word and docx to text which are two programs that are CLI um, that convert doc files to text and one of the programs is lucky enough to convert it to PDF for you so you can make it look pretty. The names of the two packages are um, docx to text and anti-word. Docx to text is for docx files only and anti-word is for word for doc files only so um, keep that in mind don't get them mixed up otherwise they'll get angry at you um, so for uh, I'll show off docx to text first because that is the most simple one and all this does is use you know standard in out operators or whatever and all it does is convert it to text so um, you just put your file in there. Uh, what is it called? What should I call it? File x to text, and then uh, you output that to uh, let's say file file x text <laughs> dot txt. Let's call it something crazy like that. All right, and do that. Boom! Instant. Wow. Then we can open this up, and here it is, filex.txt, let's open it up, and it looks great, look at that. Now for anti-word, anti-word is a lot more featureful, um, it has a man page that you can read all the, f the features of it for, but the most important one is dash a for anti-word, so anti-word dash a, dash a means convert to PDF. So if you type in dash a, anti-word, dash a, and then you have to put the letter size after that. Um, sorry, you have to put in the paper size. So that is letter in this case. I'm assuming it's most standard. I guess you have to guess if you um, don't have a way of opening the document beforehand because you refuse to use um, GUI applications. So type in the paper size and then the name of the file that you want to convert, um, file dot doc, and then just like the other program except slightly different, you, um, and without having the input you just have the output, so you put the uh, output operator, and you're going to put that into a file, and we'll just call it file.pdf. Boom, done, instant again. So if we open that up, Here we go. Just opened it up in Zathura and it works. This is a, a PDF. You can print this. So if you want docx files to be converted to PDF or doc files to be converted to PDF um, and maintain images and and um, tables and anything complicated like that, then I really recommend just getting LibreOffice. Um, if you don't want LibreOffice, you can get uh, Abbey Word, which is like a sixth of the size. I think it's only. Um, I think it's only, yeah, it's it's 135 megs. It's really small compared to LibreOffice. LibreOffice is over 600 megs. Um, but uh, I'm sure you guys aren't as crazy as I am, and you'll just uh, get whatever you want um, and not worry about the size of it because that's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you use these programs to your advantage. I hope that you found this useful. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content.